go doggy. I'm in the middle of a busy day. But I realized I didn't make it. I have not made a pet battle, pet battle video for a long time. As a matter of fact, I kind of completely forgot that pet battles even exist. You know, the first couple weeks back of the semester, I was just, you know, really busy. And anyways, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's that YouTube channel thing and there's pet battles. And so here I am. Um, I thought it started off nice and easy. I did. I did two warm up games. I did one with this new team. Uh admiral nibs i have that favorited i wanted to play with the albatross hatchling and i, I don't know it, i just it, there was no like clear synergy there that made me be like oh i need to add this and this so i just use the synergy between these two pets but for the spiderps that is it is just a themed team themed teams can be fun in case you can't tell the theme is ice cream oh no 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 it's spiders it's spiders it really is spiders it is not ice cream it would be really cool if you were thinking ice cream and then i said that though you'd be like wow i'm a genius i totally got that but sorry there was nothing to get i just i'm a liar um so yeah like i said i haven't been battling so i can't really say a lot about what's been going on before i forgot about pet battles i did discover this pet the baby zandalari raptor wow you know that my favorite synergy in all the pet battles is bleeding you know i love primal cry wow rip and primal cry the only thing is the third move is a little bit weak um i've been using devour well in my two games i've been using devour uh Survival is a pretty good move. Survival can be really good, especially if I'm trying to get that primal cry off again. Now, here's something that is, um, it's going to rock my own world. I mean, I don't know if it's going to rock your world or not, but maybe I don't need Snarly on my bleeding team. I know, I know. Stop throwing stuff at me figuratively. Um... If this guy's got the primal cry, maybe I don't. Well, why is why is Snarly so good? First of all, well, it's got the rip, it's got the blood in the water, but then it's got surge. How many times have I won because well, I'm faster and I can get that surge off before the um, enemy pet can can get their move off. Snarly wins big for me, but if this dude is primal crying. Then that opens up a whole lot of other blood in the water pets. Um, they're mostly they're well. I okay. What, what does this one have? It has shell shield. Uh, well, we already knew about that guy. Mm, this would give me shell shield or spiny carapace. This would give me dive or consume corpse. That is definitely something to consider right there um well i'm glad i have something to talk about because this queue is taking a long time um both of my battles have uh actually the first one came pretty quick and then i had to wait a while for the second one so um not find move set set favorite that's it okay that could be useful because you know he's already pretty fast 305 um that consume corpse or dive either one like having a having a dodge well, it's not a dodge, sorry. Having an evasive move, like, you know, that, that flyer thinks they're so cool. They're like, ooh, I'm going to lift off, and then too bad. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Wasn't really going anywhere too important with that. Um, but, yeah, it, it could open up things. But then the flip side is, then you're really dependent upon that primal cry. So... You know, maybe I won't be giving up Snarly at any point soon, but it does offer up some new opportunities, potentially. Yeah, I'm not actually really seeing a lot here, you know. Um, yeah, okay. Healing Wave, I mean, maybe not. I'm not a, I'm not a big healing kind of guy. Okay, it doesn't up it doesn't open up that many opportunities. I was totally lying. Well, 
Nah, because this, this dude doesn't have the blood. I mean, sorry, the rip to apply the bleeding. All right, well, maybe it's not going to be a video making day. Come on, I, I just won with the spiders. Um, I'm thinking a better mechanical spider might be this uh, rebuilt dude right here this rebuilt mechanical spider depending on the speed the 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 breed is probably known i haven't updated um add-ons in weeks so there's probably a known breed out there i just don't know what it is but if it's reasonably fast and it has flurry wow that's great it's got a dodge and then if you have another pet with webbed, which I do on this team, it could work or explode, but I don't know. I guess if you're fast and then you explode after your mechanical racial, your fail safe has already been activated, that could work. This thing goes for a lot of money. What's so great about it? Oh, actually, I can see this thing being good because you got that. You got that. Probably good. For, probably better for PVE. I can see the PVEers being like real excited about this. I don't know why. Just you know, surge of power isn't okay. It's not a good PVP move. Sorry, it's just not. I mean, it's pretty easy to juke. You can tell when it's coming. You swap in the right pet for it. And then they're just sitting there helpless for a couple more rounds. And you're like, I'm going to do whatever I want to now. But still, wind up plus surge of power. It could be good. Oh, hey, there's the cube. All right. <laughs> it only took five minutes or something like that. Let's see what I'm up against. I'm not liking that dire horn if you must know the truth. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to blind the dire horn before he gets the primal cry off. Really, I should have saved that trick up my sleeve before when he gets it, um, you know, before he dies. So my pets aren't left slow. But you'd think with that mechanical, I'd be happy against the, um, the beasts here. But I actually do don't have a sorry I don't have a mechanical move what should I do these guys are gonna be f they're they're gonna be faster than me so I'm not sure how to do this here okay well you're not gonna stun me here but I'm not gonna take you out you are gonna get a primal cry off drat Oh, drat. And crit ain't even going to do... Oh, crit can do it, but it didn't. Uh, yuck. Okay, well. Well, at least I didn't... At least I didn't perish there. Do these guys have any AoE? No. But they are going to buff themselves. Hmm. Well, there's always the chance that they just howl me right now. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this. Maybe they don't have Dazzling Dance. In case you're wondering, the reason I asked if they have an AoE because it's silly to take a pet out with 22 health and then it just gets AoE'd. So they just kill it on the back line. All right. I don't think I'm going to win a war of attrition. I just don't have enough. Um... Wait, did I just say war of attrition? And I happen to have a molten hatchling? The kings of attrition? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is good. This could be really good. Watch. Okay, so we go like this. It's fine. 
uh, we're going to go like this. Okay. And then we're going to go like this. Whoa. I'm, I'm glad I said that, really. When it comes to wars of attrition, the molten hatchling is really good. If you don't have a, something that... Um, does a lot of damage at once it can just like leech you for the longest time and i don't feel that this pet is going to have what it takes to knock out my molten hatchling so i'm gonna go ahead and do this maybe i'm wrong oh maybe i'm wrong oh no i'm right uh what's this guy's speed 325 i'm faster so I'm going to go ahead and kill him. And then I'm going to hit my, uh, my cauterize here. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm perma slow, permanently slower. But I ought to be... Ooh. Let's take the hit with the Spectral Spinner. Oh, I was kind of hoping he had Flurry so that, um, you know, Brittle Webbing really jack him up, but oh well. All right, now, which one do I want? Let's go ahead and get this up right away. And we'll put this on him. All right, that's fine. I'm not going to swap again because I think I got gotcha. you. Well, okay. 525. Yeah, I think I think that um, sometimes Hal ignores the extra. Not sometimes, maybe all the time, because that shouldn't have done 525 damage. Or or wait, am I am I am I just doing the math wrong here? Which would be sad, because wait, he's got the beast racial. Uh, I don't care. At any uh, uh, wait, I, I should probably figure that out, but I don't feel like it. It hit me for 525 with my plating up. Does that mean it should have hit me for, like, doesn't doesn't plating reduce by 50%? So it did 280 damage, plus he's got the beast racial. Is it 25% extra? So it should have done 350. And then doesn't Hal double it? I don't know. Apparently, apparently I don't know how those things are calculated because it seemed wrong to me. Someone, I'm sure will correct me on this. Well, I didn't really say, I don't know what I'm, I, I'm saying, I don't know. So you, you, in your face, you can't correct me because I'm not saying anything. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know why I'm being like that. I'm just being silly. Um, okay. Well, this, the spiders are five and two, which is my acceptable win rate. You know, like as long as I can stick to a 5 to 2 ratio, I'm going to be okay with things. All right, let's go to Admiral Nibs. This was fun when I played it. Um, the Albatross Hatchling was cool. I thought it was cool when I looked at it because it's got that winged buffet. No, I'm just, uh, winged buffet. The one that I was really confused about, not only how to say it, but... Um, because there's wind and there's wing and I was looking for I'm like don't isn't there a move similar to this on flyer watch I bet it even has the same icon what is the uh wind buffet watch oh this is the wind oh sorry wing Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna blame Blizzard for my, for my ignorance. I'm gonna be like, it looks exactly the same. That's what. Only one guy to blame. Okay. Um. But anyways, enough of that. Uh. 
it has the swap, it has rend, and it has another uh, flying move. So here's what I like about it. It's got a multiple attack for when it's faster. It's got um, just a regular attack for when it's not faster. I mean, I'm not in love with the choice between peck and quills. Um, could be worse. I mean, I can even see somebody using feed on this, but having a swap's pretty cool. I mean, the the one game I played, I think I pretty much won because I was able to swap. Um, and so, like I was mentioning earlier, oh, I don't remember what I was mentioning. Oh, oh, what I was mentioning earlier is since there was no clear like, at least to me, I wasn't like, oh, you know, it'd be perfect with the albatross hatchling, X and Y. But there was no X and Y, so I was just like, well, I'll just pick two other pets that have some decent synergy. I didn't even think about coverage or anything. So I'm good. <laughs> As I say that, the Q pops, and it's like something comes up that I totally don't have coverage for. So they probably named themselves You Sucks Bad or something like that. So let's see. Oh, you know what? It'd be nice some coverage for this guy. Oops, remember that little statement I made about coverage? Yeah, two. Not one, but two. Okay, do I really want to bring this bone serpent in? I mean, is that what you want to do with yourself? Well, uh, uh, uh. yeah, let's, let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. Come on, albatross hatchling. Do your thing. I don't think, I don't think this is the good call to make. Here's what I'm going to do. He's going to lift off, and I'm going to bring in the... Um, oh, he's not going to lift off. Okay. J yeah. Yikes. Okay. But... Yeah, I'm pretty much screwed. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much screwed this game. Uh, one and a two and a... No three. Okay. Still faster. No. Same speed. Thankfully, I have this. Peck. One, oh, oh, okay. I got it off and I hit it. When the toss, when the toss, when the toss. Oh, well, he's probably going to lift off if I don't win the toss. Okay. Now, what are we looking at here? We're looking at 292 versus these guys. Do I want to take it? I really should have brought in Animus this whole time. I'm, I mean, I'm really, really screwed here. So, uh, let's bring in Animus to take the hit. That was a bad call. That was the worst call I could have made. I don't. I was, I was panicking there, thinking about Animus versus these two. I was thinking maybe I can bring in. Um, you know, this guy to finish off one of the, uh, one of these guys, but I think that was probably the worst call I could have made. So, big mistake there. You know what? I'd rather pronounce things wrong all day than make a mistake like that. That was bad. So, here's the only way that I can redeem my, well, it won't even be redemption. It'll just be like, it's the only way I won't lose horribly is if... Actually, it's up to my other per. It's up to this person. How bad do they want to play? You know, because they're probably going to conflag me right now, and then I'm going to put this up. So then, Nibs can come in and get healed. One and uh, oh, I hope that kills me. Jeez, I hope it kills me. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I want. There's no redemption. No redemption for me. None at all. And that's not even going to kill me now, right? Okay. I just, I totally failed that whole encounter right there. So, because I was hoping to bring in Nibs and have the touch of the Animus up. Um, yeah, that was really bad. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, I think. Please be more than 215 damage. Okay, okay. So here's this. 
Now here's what I think is going to happen. I think that you are going to conflag me right now. Head game to try to save a little face. Save a little face? Yes. Okay. Well, at least I did one thing right. I still can't believe I swapped. That was a horrible move. It was absolutely horrible. So this is all weak damage against me. I mean, I could possibly get a draw here. Oh, that was nice. Beast racial. Oh, I'm not a beast. <laughs> yeah, beast racial is not going to proc on undeads. Uh, does it matter which order I go in? Let me do this. So maybe I get a crit and it ends right here. Okay. Well. Uh, so it's still a loss. Maybe I'm too hard on myself, but here's why it's still a loss. Because I didn't even think the, about the fact that the undead is going to be weak against all those moves. So, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be honest about it. Maybe I should be like, yes, I'm a, a master strategist. And I totally, like, I, I, I always say this, and you're probably tired of hearing me say this, but I'm like, a couple years ago, when I just pet battled all the time, I totally would have saw that coming and probably would have thought about it and been like, yeah, cool. But now I'm just like, oh my god, I'm going to lose. And then, wait a second, that's all going to do weak damage against my, uh, against my undead. Oh yeah. I'm just too honest. I should have I totally gone the master strategist route. I'm like, um, how could you not see that? Uh-huh. That's my that's my snotty voice, by the way. It's kind of my rich voice too, like my rich snot. I don't know. If I ever like, uh, no, anyways, I'm not gonna talk like that anymore. Okay, so that was that was a win in the win column, but it was a loss in the disco doggy column. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I didn't play well, and I still managed to win. So why why didn't why didn't I play well? What what am I saying that I did like? Really, so so I was thinking that son of Animus. I was worried about those two. Okay, let me back up. First mistake is I probably should have played the son of Animus against the Bone Serpent. Okay, let me back up. The, the mistakes, like I can just I follow my trail of mistakes backwards. I shouldn't have used the Wing Buffet. Okay, <laughs> there I go, Buffet, Buffet. Um. Because, wait, why not? Why didn't I want to do that? Oh, because I wanted to kill the fell flame with my flyer. Because I didn't want the fell flame to have to face animus. Okay, because I knew, like, look at those conflicts. And then, here, maybe I should cue and then. And then, so that was my first mistake. So then after I did that, I should have brought in my son of animus like that would have been fine the the bone serpent against son of animus he's got extra plating i mean he can he he can tank against people who do a lot of damage that would have been fine and then okay so then i think the biggest mistake is when i'm sitting there with my albatross that had 19 damage i'm thinking okay well i don't want to I don't want to face. I'm still thinking about Animus versus those two fell flames. And I'm thinking, well, I'm going to take it with my Animus because he's going to be useless against those fell flames. But really, what did I do? I took 19. Uh, I mean, I could have just taken 19 damage and let that thing die. But instead, I took like 500 something damage. And you don't know that I'm thinking about it. It really didn't turn out that bad because that can flag. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I, th I still think it was bad. I still think it was bad. Um, so now I'm, now I'm getting all confused. And so I think that those were the, those were the mistakes right there. And then I guess the, the fourth mistake was not realizing that, hey, against those two fell flames, you're not in as bad shape as you think because they're gonna do weak damage. So, there you go. I mean, I'm, 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I, it might feel like I'm crapping all over myself here, but but I didn't play well. I mean, you know, I, I play well a lot. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that, like, oh, that was awesome, because it, it was bad. That was, that was probably one of the worst battles I've videoed in a long time. But anyways, I, I, I won, so it all worked out okay. But yeah, let's... Let's start getting over it. Oh, I don't want to play this team, but I'm already queued and I don't want to unqueue now. I actually made a pretty fun magic team. I got that, uh, where'd it go? <laughs> M, no M. Oh, it's G for magic because M is for mech. Don't you know that? Okay, uh, maybe I didn't put it in this. It, okay, mask. Oh, there we go. Move to PvP Brawler. Is it in? Oh, yeah, I screwed it up. Okay, there. that's what happened. I actually named it M for magic. I'm like, don't you know that? And apparently, I don't know that. Uh, change name or target. It is a G, not an M. There we go. Life is good. <laughs> it's all it took for life to be good is for me to do that. Okay, so here we go. Where was it? Now I can't find it. Okay, now I'm just embarrassed because where did it go? The Masked Club didn't, is this not in PVP Brawler? And it's G, oh, it's favorited, wow. At some point you just gotta like think about giving up on life, you know? No, I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. Or is it, no, it's not that bad. Um, it's up at the top because it's favorited. Come on, I don't play this game anymore. Cut me some slack. Okay. <laughs> I haven't gone through all that. Let me tell you about the Masked Club. Uh, so I got this Enchanted Tiki Mask. I wasn't super excited about it, but it has Foreboding Curse, which I am kind of excited about. I like that move, but then I saw the other moves and... You know, you could foreboding curse to interrupting gaze. Well, you do some damage, what, 222 plus 59, so 281, and then you're like, okay, now I'm stuck spirit fire bolting them. So, I mean, I was going to put foreboding curse with the bone barrage team, but it just so happens that somebody was like selling the spectral tiger club cub in, in chat, and I was like, oh my god. That pet cost me tons of gold. I should play it more. Because it's kind of a cool pet. You know, you leap to Evanescence. And then you can run to them. It does decent damage with 305 attack. I don't know. It's kind of fun to play with, you know. Um, so anyways, I was like, well, now I have two magic pets. I might as well just throw on this Accursed Hexer. And there you go. Weakness, Drain Blood, Arcane Blast. I don't know. It was fun. I had one good battle with somebody. It was very close. I think it came down to the last turn. That I did battle. I did battle. Oh, someone's just doing something to me right now, and I don't know. So it's kind of cool to not even turn around and look at them. But whoa, what's that? Pet is so disgusting looking. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's pretty gross. I can't even look at it like that. I, I, I like to picture it like this. All right. So, yeah, you know, when you, you, you star your teams, they end up on the top. So, I'm resisting the urge to say it. one of the reasons I'm so busy is because I have all my, I want to do all my weekend chores and errands today. And, oh, well, the, the errands are done, but now I have, you know, chores. Um, I sound like a like, teenager or something, but, you know. I gotta do my chores before I can play. But I do. I mean, that's what you gotta do as an adult. You gotta be your own parent. Okay, you all know that. Um, so, anyways. And then I wanna paint. Then I, not paint. Then I wanna put together two new models, because I'm playing tomorrow. Playing Warhammer 40k. My Necrons. Actually, out of the three... <laughs> The three armies I play, they're my least favorite, but they're closest to being completely painted. So I figure, you know what, I'm just going to suck it up and I'm going to finish my Necrons and I'm going to play with them while I'm finishing. So that's enough about that. You're like, what is, it? what is he talking about? I'm talking about the game Warhammer 40k. 
I wouldn't suggest playing it if I were you because it is very like it takes some dedication because it's not because it's super expensive. Let's see. I just spent like my total. Yeah, I had a discount, but before the discount, my total was $184 on, let's see, a Doomsday Arc, which is a big kind of tank thing. Six Tomb Blades, which are these little skimmer things. And then a uh, Catan Deceiver, who's kind of like a star god. So basically on eight models, I spent like $180. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not done yet. So then you got to put them together. You got to be into modeling. And then you got to paint them. And then you got to buy not one rule book, but many rule books. You have to buy the rule book. You have to buy... Sorry. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. It's an expensive hobby. Don't do it. Don't play it. But it's super fun. If you like modeling and if you like painting, that's when it becomes worth it. If you just if you just play that game for the for the game part of it, then you've kind of lost out because it's super expensive. But if you like painting models, go for it. I suggest that you play. As a matter of fact, okay. Um, what are what are we looking at here? Three twenty five. I know you just have that from the last game, so let's go ahead and bring our snarly in, and we're gonna hit you with this. Oh come on! And then oh, I'm not gonna be able to finish you off here. Damn it! I mean, he's gonna die on this turn, but not before he attacks me. Dad gummit. How am I gonna do against that dire horn? Okay, so I think you're gonna primal cry me. I think I want to get the bleed on you, but I don't want to get slap or, or or oh shoot, choices. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit you with this just in case. I think I'm better off doing the damage. Oh, see, see, see what could have happened. So this way, oh, but you got you got the trihorn charge, but I somehow I still think I'm gonna go faster. Weird, right? Oh, but did you primal cry? Okay, that's fine. But watch this. I think I still go faster. I could be wrong, but surge is weird like that. <laughs> See, six twelve thousand versus. Oh, he didn't. He didn't charge me. Okay. I think it would have gone first. Well, I think I'm in good shape here because I'm going to primal cry him so he's not faster than me. And then, what, 204 damage? No, I'm not going to be able to devour. Actually, the second turn I can devour. Oh, I thought I'd be faster. What? Oh, because he still has that. <gasps> Darn. Okay. And now that is gone, but he's still going to do that to me. So, snap. I'm doing the same thing that I did last time, but I have a good reason to do it this time. Okay, I have I have a reason. I have reasons. Okay, there we go. Because I want that guy to come back in later and be faster. So... I'm going to hit you with this now. And then I'm going to hit you with Bash for the... So I can save this guy's health. Then I'm going to go ahead and I don't, this is, wait, what is his speed is 100%, right? Yeah, 100%. So it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm good. Oh, yeah, I'm really good. All righty. Well, I, 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 again, I think I did something wrong there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I didn't think about the dire horn having two 
speed buffs on him. So I thought I was going to be faster at some point when I was not. So apparently, uh, apparently you got to know stuff to pet battle because you can't like, oh crap. I was going to say, it takes like, you don't get good at this game until 25,000 wins. And I'm not quite there yet. So, um, <laughs> Because, you know, after 25,000 wins, I totally would have realized that. No, you just got to pay the freak, freaking attention. That was a weird thing to say. So, um, anyways, that's fun. Um, that's a fun pet. I like that pet. So, yeah, I think Sir... I don't, I don't know if that's a fact. So, so, there's all these weird little things with pet battles. I mean, seriously. Okay, the, I'm not saying the part about the two buffs was weird. I should have realized that, the two speed buffs. But there's just weird things with speed. Like, so, sometimes sometimes Surge goes faster than other priority moves, I think. Um, and you just got to know that. I'm not sure if it goes faster than Trihorn Charge or not. I think it does, but don't quote me on that. But anyway... I mean, I'm glad to get a video out. I, 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 I kind of feel like I was really amateurish today. I mean, the good news is I talked about pet battles most of the time. I did talk about 40K. Don't do it. It's an expensive, time-consuming road to go down. But it's fun if you like painting models and collecting things. So, anyways, the pet battle part was very mediocre. I went 3-0. and I'd rather go 1-2 and and play really well and not look like a big dummy <laughs> like I did but such is life so big dummy signing off I'm going to do my chores like a good boy and hopefully finish in time to put together a doomsday arc and a deceiver so I can use them tomorrow I already have one doomsday arc but I want two doomsday arcs because they're good okay Wish me luck with my Necrons, and wish me luck with pet battling in the future, and just just, just wish me luck in general. Jeez, I, I, I need it. Oh, I was going to say one more thing. I was joking around about 25,000, but I think I... Oh, wrong thing. I think I want to make like a big... like to do, I'm all, Oh, no, not I'm almost there. I think I want to make a big deal about the... Like... The... the because I plan on, you know, getting to like 25,000. I'm already at 25,000, but 25,000 on this, um, this stat keeper tracker thing, achievement, the achievement statistics. I don't know what you call this page. Come on, what am I, a World of Warcraft dictionary? Am I World of Warcraft Wikipedia? Okay, anyways. Um, but yeah, so I, I apparently I only have uh, 63 battles to go to where I'm at 22,000 wins. So well, I'm going to make a big hubbub about it if I can remember. But, you know, if I don't remember and it's like pet battle weekend and I'm really into it, I think you get 63 wins like that if you're not careful and you're just like, yeah, cool, I got some new teams. And then i'll look at it and it's going to be like twenty two thousand and seven or something like that i'll be like no but anyways um don't hold this video against me okay i know it's bad but i hope you ha i hope you enjoyed watching and most of all i hope you learned from my mistakes all right have a good one i just took a screenshot wrong button <laughs>